This is the 2245 THW. T stands for tremolo, HW stands for hand wired. The 2045, also known as the JTM45, was the first amplifier that Jim and his team put together in 1962, and it's the amp from whence the legend Marshall was born. That amp progressed over the years, got more aggressive, got bigger in terms of wattage, became a 50 watt amp, but a lot of players wanted a combo. One of them was a guy called Eric Clapton. He wanted Jim to build him a 2x12 version of the JTM45 that would fit in the back of a car. Eric was one of many guys who asked for that. Jim decided to do exactly that. And the result was the legendary blues breaker that Eric used on the John Mayall album called The Blues Breakers. Because so many people liked that amp, a very few head versions were made, and this is a revisitation of exactly that. This is what the 2245 THW is. It's a hand-wired reiteration of the legendary and hard-to-find head version of the 1962 Blues Breaker combo amp. A couple of anom anomalies, a lot of people think because it's 2245 that it's 45 watts. Wrong. We fooled you. It's actually 30 watts. It has four ECC83s, or what you guys call in America 12AX7s, one of which is dedicated to the, to the tremolo that you just heard, and it has two massive KT66 power tubes, which give you that lovely, lovely RAND low end, and you've got that nice sag in it as well. That comes from something called the GZ34 rectifier tube. Now, what a rectifier tube does is it rectifies the alternating current AC from the wall into direct current that the amp needs. It's a very straightforward amp. It's a two-channel amp, but you can't switch the channels. You use either one or two, or you can actually jump both channels together. If you take a cord from this cable, a little cable from this to this, it's called cable jumping. There's basically a high treble channel, which is controlled by volume one, and then there's a quote-unquote normal channel which is controlled by volume two here. They share the same EQ, which is treble, middle, bass, and presence. Then you've got your speed and intensity for the foot switchable tremolo. If you're wondering why there's four inputs, both channels have two inputs. Channel one has two inputs, and channel two has two inputs. They're known as high and low. And the high one has six dBs more than the low one, so a lot of guitar players like to use the high one because it drives the front end more. And there you have it, the 2245THW, a piece of history that's been revisited, as I said, with insane accuracy and care, and made in England by real human beings, not machines.